Howdy space explorers! Welcome to our journey into the heart of some of the universe's most extraordinary objects, neutron stars and pulsars. Imagine a star so dense that a teaspoon of its material would weigh billions of tons. Now picture that same star spinning faster than a kitchen blender, beaming out radio waves like a cosmic lighthouse. That's the captivating realm we're about to explore. Our exploration will take us from the fiery death throes of massive stars to the detection of faint pulses of radiation emanating from the depths of space. We'll learn how neutron stars are born, how they spin, and how they generate some of the most powerful magnetic fields in the universe. We'll also discover the fascinating connection between neutron stars and pulsars. Think of a pulsar as a special kind of neutron star, one that's oriented just right to sweep its beam of radiation across our line of sight, like a cosmic lighthouse. These celestial beacons have revolutionized our understanding of stellar evolution, gravity, and the fundamental nature of matter. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed as we journey into the heart of neutron stars and pulsars where the universe reveals its most extreme and awe-inspiring wonders. Let's talk about neutron stars. They form from the death of massive stars. These giants burn bright and fast. Stars are cosmic pressure cookers. Fusion in their cores releases energy. This energy balances gravity, but they can't burn forever. They run out of fuel. Gravity takes over. The core collapses, triggering a supernova, a cosmic spectacle blasting elements into space, leaving behind a neutron star. As the core of the star collapses, it's squeezed with unimaginable force. The protons and electrons in the atoms are forced together, merging to form neutrons. This process, called neutronization, is what gives neutron stars their name. Imagine, if you will, taking all the matter in the Sun, all 333,000 times the mass of the Earth, and compressing it into a ball just a few miles across. That's the incredible density of a neutron star. The collapse of the core happens so fast in a matter of milliseconds that it creates a shock wave that rips through the star, blowing the outer layers into space. What's left behind is a rapidly spinning, incredibly dense ball of neutrons, a neutron star. These newly born neutron stars are still incredibly hot, with temperatures reaching billions of degrees. But over millions of years, they slowly cool down, radiating their heat into space. And that's where things get really interesting because as they cool, these neutron stars reveal some truly mind-boggling properties. Now we've talked about neutron stars being dense, but let's really wrap our heads around just how extreme this density is. Imagine taking Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, and squeezing it down to the size of a sugar cube. That's roughly the density of a neutron star. A teaspoonful of neutron star material would weigh billions of tons, the same as a small mountain. This incredible density is what gives neutron stars their unique properties. The atoms themselves are crushed, their electrons forced into the protons to form neutrons, hence the name neutron star. This creates a sea of neutrons packed together as tightly as the laws of physics allow. Think of it like this. If you could somehow stand on the surface of a neutron star, you wouldn't sink into it like you would on Earth. Instead, the immense gravity would flatten you into a thin layer of subatomic particles, instantly becoming a part of the star's surface. Now, you might be wondering, just how massive can a neutron star get? Is there a limit to how much matter you can cram into such a small space? Well, there is, and it's called the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit named after the brilliant physicists who first calculated it. This limit tells us that if a neutron star gets too massive, its own gravity will overcome even the incredible resistance of neutron degeneracy pressure, the force that keeps those neutrons from collapsing further. If a neutron star exceeds this limit, it will continue to collapse indefinitely, forming a black hole. The exact value of the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit is still debated, but it's thought to be somewhere around two to three times the mass of our Sun. That means even though neutron stars are incredibly dense, they can't just keep getting more and more massive. There's a breaking point, a point of no return where gravity takes over and a black hole is born. Now let's talk about temperature. Neutron stars are born hot, and I mean scorching hot, 
When they first form, their temperatures can reach billions of degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the core of our sun. This intense heat is a remnant of the supernova explosion that created them, the energy released during the collapse of the star's core. Over millions of years, neutron stars slowly cool down, but even then, they're still incredibly hot by our standards. Their surfaces can reach tens of thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize any material we know of in an instant. This heat isn't just some cosmic curiosity, it plays a crucial role in the radiation emitted by neutron stars. Remember those beams of radiation we talked about earlier? Well, the intense heat within a neutron star provides the energy for those beams, powering them like cosmic lighthouses. Speaking of power, neutron stars aren't just hot, they're also some of the most magnetic objects in the universe. We're talking about magnetic fields billions of times stronger than anything we can create on Earth. To put this in perspective, a neutron star's magnetic field is so strong it could rip apart atoms from thousands of miles away. These incredibly strong magnetic fields are thought to be generated by the rapid rotation of the neutron star and the movement of charged particles within its core. As the star spins, its magnetic field lines get all twisted up, creating intense electric currents that further amplify the magnetic field. These powerful magnetic fields play a crucial role in many of the observed phenomena associated with neutron stars, from the beams of radiation emitted by pulsars to the intense bursts of energy released by magnetars, a special type of neutron star that we'll discuss later. What lies beneath the surface of neutron stars? Scientists use models to understand their internal structure. Imagine a journey from the surface to the core. We'd encounter layers with unique properties. The atmosphere is a thin layer of hydrogen and helium. It emits thermal radiation. The crust is densely packed atomic nuclei. It's incredibly strong, but has its limits. As we venture deeper into the neutron star, we reach the outer core. Here, the pressure overwhelms the forces holding atoms together Electrons merge with protons, forming neutrons. This neutron-rich matter is thought to be a superfluid. Finally, we arrive at the heart of the neutron star. Here, the pressure and density are extreme. Some theories suggest neutrons break into quarks, forming quark-gluon plasma. The exact composition remains a mystery. It's a realm where physics is pushed to its limits, a place where matter behaves in unimaginable ways. How do we know so much about neutron stars? They emit powerful beams of energy, like cosmic lighthouses. These beams sweep across space as the star rotates. We detect pulses of radiation when in their path. But neutron stars don't just emit radio waves. They also emit other forms of electromagnetic radiation, including X-rays and gamma rays. These high-energy emissions are generated by different processes within and around the neutron star. For example, X-rays can be emitted from the hot spots on the surface of a neutron star, where the temperature can reach millions of degrees. These hot spots are thought to be caused by the intense magnetic fields funneling energy from the star's interior to its surface. Gamma rays, the most energetic form of electromagnetic radiation, can be emitted by pulsars, a type of neutron star that we'll discuss in more detail later. These gamma ray emissions are thought to be related to the rapid rotation and intense magnetic fields of pulsars. By studying the different types of radiation emitted by neutron stars, astronomers can learn a great deal about their properties, such as their temperature, magnetic field strength, and rotation rate. It's like listening to a neutron star's heartbeat, each pulse of radiation revealing secrets about these extreme objects. Now hold on to your hats, space explorers, because we're about to talk about something truly mind-boggling, the rotation of neutron stars. You see, these tiny titans don't just sit there, they spin, and they spin fast. Imagine a sphere just a dozen or so miles across, spinning faster than a kitchen blender on high speed. That's a neutron star for you. When a massive star collapses to form a neutron star, its rotation rate increases dramatically. Think about a figure skater pulling their arms in during a spin. They spin faster as their mass becomes more concentrated. The same principle applies to neutron stars. As the core of the star collapses, its rotation rate skyrockets, with some neutron stars spinning hundreds of times per second. We can actually measure the spin rates of some neutron stars by observing the pulses of radiation they emit. Remember those cosmic lighthouses we talked about? Well, each pulse we detect represents one rotation of the neutron star. 
By timing these pulses, we can determine how fast the neutron star is spinning. Now, you might think that with such incredible spin rates, neutron stars would just keep spinning faster and faster. But that's not the case. Over time, neutron stars actually slow down, albeit very gradually. One of the main reasons for this slowdown is the energy lost through their magnetic fields. Remember those powerful magnetic fields that can rip apart atoms? Well, those fields act like brakes, slowing down the neutron star's rotation as they interact with the surrounding environment. Think of it like this. If you were to spin a top in a bathtub full of honey, it would eventually slow down due to the resistance from the honey. Similarly, the magnetic fields of neutron stars interact with the surrounding gas and dust, gradually slowing down their rotation over millions of years. But even though they slow down over time, neutron stars remain some of the fastest spinning objects in the universe, a testament to the extreme physics that govern their existence. How common are neutron stars? Our Milky Way is teeming with billions of them. Astronomers estimate at least 100 million in our galaxy, but our galaxy spans over 100,000 light years, so they're still relatively spread out. Neutron stars, even the brightest ones, are incredibly faint because they're so small. The closest known neutron star to Earth is about 400 light years away. Detecting neutron stars and measuring their distances accurately is a challenging task for modern astronomy. Binary neutron stars are incredible laboratories for testing our understanding of gravity. Imagine two dense objects, each more massive than the sun but smaller than a city, spiraling towards each other. These systems form when two massive stars explode as supernovae, leaving behind neutron stars orbiting each other. As they orbit, they warp space-time, sending out ripples of gravitational waves. As neutron stars spiral closer, they lose energy through gravitational waves causing them to collide. These collisions are some of the most energetic events in the universe, briefly outshining entire galaxies. They produce bursts of gravitational waves and light detectable billions of light years away. These collisions create heavy elements like gold and platinum, essential to our planet and ourselves. Neutron stars are extreme environments with intense gravity magnetic fields and radiation. Could planets exist around these stellar remnants? It's possible, though they would be unlike Earth, the intense gravity would create extreme tidal forces and the radiation would be lethal to life as we know it. Any planet would need serious shielding to protect potential life from deadly rays. Despite challenges, astronomers search for planets around neutron stars using pulsar timing. If a planet orbits a pulsar, its gravity would cause slight variations in the timing of pulses. By measuring these variations, astronomers could detect planets even smaller than Earth. The search continues with new telescopes and techniques, hoping to find strange worlds around neutron stars. In the 1930s, astronomers Walter Bodd and Fritz Zwicky predicted neutron stars from supernovae. They proposed that supernova explosions were powered by the collapse of a star's core into a dense neutron star. This radical idea was based on theoretical calculations, laying the groundwork for future discoveries. Their prediction was a milestone in understanding the life cycle of stars. In 1967, Jocelyn Bell Burnell discovered a faint regular pulse of radio waves, a pulsar. Initially thought to be signals from extraterrestrials, it was revealed to be a rapidly rotating neutron star. This discovery provided the first concrete evidence for neutron stars predicted decades earlier. The discovery of pulsars opened a new window into the universe, leading to intense research. Pulsars are neutron stars that spin rapidly and emit beams of radiation. As a massive star collapses, its rotation amplifies, sometimes spinning hundreds of times per second. The star's magnetic field lines twist, creating intense electric fields that accelerate electrons. These electrons emit radiation in a narrow beam, detectable as pulses if aligned with Earth. Pulsar beams sweep across space like a lighthouse beam across the sea. We only see these pulses if the beam aligns with Earth. Only a fraction of neutron stars have beams pointing towards us, explaining why we've detected few pulsars. The strength of the magnetic field, pulsar age, and distance also affect detectability. Jocelyn Bell Burnell's 1967 discovery of pulsars revolutionized astronomy. 
Initially thought to be extraterrestrial signals, they were identified as natural phenomena. The discovery of the first pulsar, PSRB, 1919 plus 21, led to a new era of astronomy. Astronomers built new telescopes to search for more pulsars, discovering dozens within a few years. Astronomers categorized pulsars based on spin rates, magnetic fields, and environments. Binary pulsars provided stringent tests of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Discoveries include pulsars spinning thousands of times per second and those with gamma ray emissions. New telescopes promise to uncover more exotic pulsars in the future. White dwarfs and neutron stars are remnants of dead stars but form through different processes. White dwarfs form when stars like our Sun exhaust their nuclear fuel and collapse. Neutron stars form from more massive stars that explode as supernovae, leaving a dense core. Both remnants provide insights into stellar evolution and the life cycle of stars. Neutron stars are born from massive stars, forming a dense core of neutrons. Some white dwarfs pulsate, emitting periodic bursts of radiation, providing valuable insights. Studying these pulsations helps astronomers understand the interior of white dwarfs. A.E. Aquari, a binary system with a fast-spinning white dwarf, offers intriguing observations. Pulsars are rapidly spinning neutron stars beaming out radio waves like cosmic lighthouses. Just like dog breeds, pulsars have unique characteristics and stories. Astronomers categorize pulsars based on energy source, spin speed, and pulse characteristics. Rotation-powered pulsars get energy from their own rotation. They are like energetic youngsters spinning rapidly. Accretion-powered pulsars draw material from companion stars. This forms a hot, rotating accretion disk. The material releases energy, powering emissions. These pulsars are cosmic gluttons, feeding off stars. Their pulses are erratic, reflecting the chaotic accretion process. And finally, we have the magnetars, the wild bunch of the pulsar world. These are neutron stars with incredibly strong magnetic fields, quadrillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Imagine a magnet so powerful it could rip apart atoms from thousands of miles away. That's the kind of magnetic mayhem we're talking about here. Magnetars emit bursts of high-energy radiation, including X-rays and gamma rays. These bursts can disrupt our planet's upper atmosphere from thousands of light-years away. Well, folks, we've reached the end of our cosmic journey. A journey from the fiery death throes of massive stars to the detection of faint pulses of radiation. We've explored neutron stars and pulsars, those celestial objects that push the boundaries of physics. We've learned how they are born, spin, and emit radiation, and how they warp space-time. We've delved into their density and powerful magnetic fields, challenging our understanding of matter. Once mere theoretical curiosities, they've revolutionized our understanding of the universe, providing insights into stellar evolution, gravity, and the origins of elements. The journey isn't over yet. New telescopes and techniques promise more secrets. Who knows what strange pulsars await discovery? So, keep looking up, and never stop exploring the cosmos. There's a whole universe out there just waiting to be discovered. Maybe one day, we'll find life beyond Earth, perhaps orbiting a distant pulsar. Until then, keep your curiosity alive and your sense of wonder engaged. And don't forget to like and subscribe.